everybody good evening this is Jean here another day working on my kaleidoscope one block wonder quilt um, I, my last video I put up I'm just doing this in increments now I thought I, I explained it when I'm ironing I'm doing this really step by step because there are many steps to simplify this method which looks very complicated um, again if you go to my playlist um, I'm, these are in order how I'm explaining these. This is part, uh, before we get to part three, this is part 2.75 uh, because I'm still piecing my blocks together. Um, and as in part 2.25, um, I was chain piecing them and showing how I was chain piecing them. But this time there is one more um, or actually two more um, sewing bits that I've an ironing that before we take it over to our design board because I sort of skipped that in part two um, so um, this is just like I say a, a little addendum to that I did my 2.25 the last one how I chain piece and this is almost how I'm chain pressing them and then getting ready for the the, the next and right now the final stitching and ironing before we go over to our design wall so again I'm just doing this I'm just going to show you this in real time just to reiterate in your head and to figure out that it's not that hard it's just trying to keep our pieces in order to make it the easiest way possible to actually chain, chain stitch them without going zzz, 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 zzz. I don't understand those people like oh do this and do that so I'm doing it slowly but steadily and I'm getting there. So then hopefully the next video I put up, part three, um, will be, I'll have attached my design board or my design wall up, either my batting or my um, flannel backed tablecloth. And then we'll start putting our blocks up, having had them all in rows around my panel. I'm, I'm excited to see how that turns out because I don't have a clue. <laughs> So anyway, thank you very, very much. This is the next few minutes of our how I've taken these over to my ironing board, which is right here, set up. Um, after I've after I've taken them off, chain pieced them, cut my chains apart, and how I'm doing this next step. So again, I, I thank you so very much. A lot of people are saying, oh, this is so pretty. Um, and it does look like a challenging pattern, um, but maybe we'll all get there in the end and make a pretty, pretty quilt. So stick with me, folks. <laughs> I always say that. <laughs> Maybe I'll get there in the end. All right, love from the true loves. See ya. So just like the last video that I did, my little uh, two point uh, two point five. This is two point seven five. We're getting to we're getting to three one of these days. Step three. But again, I, I keep telling you that I like to do things step by step by step. I I did I missed a few steps, and so I'm putting steps in for me, and I'm videoing it. So I have my pile here of the rest of my blocks that I as you saw me chain piece in the last video, okay? And they're all nice and put together. Now, I said go over and iron them. Well, I'll show you how I'm going to be ironing my blocks. I'm taking my pin out of my block, and I've cut the big chains apart, but they're, they're, there's one more chain to cut apart, okay? Now, these are my two extra, right? Now, remember we put them in, an, in the order of these two are up here, okay? because there's my square there, okay? This is just how I'm doing it. Now I'm gonna just sort of set the seam here when I go to press this open. And I'm going to just finger, just find the uh, finger pressing here. I'm finding it easier with this little iron that actually stays on there. My other Alessio lifts up. It's an automatic lifter upper thinger. Um, so I just, I just keep that on. I know it's not gonna burn. While I finger press this one open here. I quite like this little iron. So I'm just gonna press that like that. And I'm right next to my sewing machine here. So everything is sort of compact. <laughs> I've gone from very large sewing rooms to my little tiny room here, but it's awesome. So now I'm going to find the center of my block, which is there. And remember, I've, I'm sort of putting it as I sewed it I'm going to be configuring it like that to make sure I have my kaleidoscope with this down here. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm um, because these two seams are pressed here, we have two more seams to sew. And I figured out I'm going to place pretty side to this side, lining up this edge here, okay? 
and then I'm going to bring this one over pretty side to pretty side lining up my edge there okay now I'm not going to sew them right now but what I'm doing is I'm just going to put them like in a little sandwich like that take my pin and then I can take this over to my machine and do the exact same thing I can take it apart I can then chain piece this piece and that piece and then again before I before I cut them apart I'm going to pin them together and then I can do my last bit and I can come over and I can iron that seam there so what I've done is I've I put that there like that like this and I have my whole pile here put in the exact same configuration right I can I can sew that seam I can sew that seam I can sew this seam I can sew that seam and so I, I put them the exact same way when I take them over to my machine I can just sew and chain piece this third seam and again we are just making I'll show you here this is the end result before we go to our design board You've seen this. This is how I've, I've done these. I've, I've finished these blocks um, to this point. There's my little kaleidoscope block right there without the center seam. Right there. But we're going to be constructing this again. Uh, this comes in the next video. This is just like a um, step by step. I wanted to show you we're going to be constructing them in rows. But right now I'm going to put them together. They're my finished ones. I've already sewn them, and, and that's what we're going to be taking over to our design board, okay? So now, again, I mean, I, I mean I'm, you know me, I'm repeating myself, repeating myself, repeating myself, but again, I, I have to repeat myself. So there's my, there's my center of my two blocks there. I set my seam, and then I find, I open that up. And just press that like that. Open this up. Again, these are bias seams, bias edges, I should say. So be careful. And then I find my straight edge right there. And my straight edge right there like that and there is my hexacon kaleidoscope block so I'll just bring this pretty side over here making sure that that's all lined up there bringing this side over to here making sure that's all lined up there and then I'll just place that on top of there and I'll pin it and I'll add that to my pile to be to be um, sewn for my final bit of sewing and then I'll do the pressing again just like I was doing before all right I hope that helps folks because again I was I, I say I'm gonna do things step by step but you might have missed it so again if you're um, if you're an expert at this please excuse my repeating but a lot of people appreciate me doing it step by step and repeating myself all right thanks folks